Corn planter is now down. Two and a half hour bump and jump down the road. We're flatlanders today. Told you. We got curves, we got bends, we got hills. Good morning and thanks for clicking your way back to the good old Southern IA. The weather stick here says that we've got another good day for creating a planting vlog, which I've been putting out every single day for you with the help of Molly doing the editing. Oh, but wait, we didn't put one out yesterday. I wonder why. So the last day that you guys hung out with us down here in Southern Iowa, which was Saturday, and today is now Monday, Austin and I put in the corn plot across the road, which has uh, 19 different check strips in it or something along those lines now. Planted it beautifully, but as I was signing off with you guys, I let the tractor cool down, turned off the tractor, and uh, the tractor started leaking pretty bad. Which the tractor had had a small coolant leak, which we did know that. It wasn't a bad coolant leak by any means, but uh, it was something that we had to keep in the back of our minds. And that night I ripped the shields off the side of the tractor, tried to find out where it was leaking from. I couldn't see it leaking anywhere because it stopped leaking. So I ended up having Molly climb up into the tractor. She got up in there, started it up. Wasn't leaking at all when we were running it. And then as soon as she started, turned it off, it started leaking again. Um, so basically at that point in the night, we called it a day. I actually called my dad, told him, hey, there's something wrong with this tractor. Uh, and we were just going to tackle it the next morning, which was yesterday, Sunday. Kind of our idea was, was, hey, since it wasn't leaking when the tractor was running, we'll fill it with coolant, keep an eye on it really closely, and see if we can go get the rest of the corn planted. Uh, I think we're down to about 200 acres of corn that need to get planted into the ground, which we could have very well done in about one day or maybe had to finish up this morning. So, anyways, we ended up raising up the shield, filled it with coolant and uh, yeah, she was just leaking pretty bad. So, so anyways, we x that, we unhooked the blue plat tractor from the planter. Problem is, is that for us, that is the only tractor in my father's fleet that can run that planter. Um, so essentially the corn planter is now down. He's supposed to be trying to find somewhere that we can get that planter taken to today. Uh, that's why I loaded up the power washer. We're gonna power wash all the gunk off the side of it because that antifreeze is just sticky and all the dust is stuck to it. Uh, then later on that afternoon, Dad and I went and treated the rest of the soybeans that we're gonna need for the year. And it sounds like today, as long as something hasn't changed, I'm gonna hop in the 8110, take the two and a half hour tractor ride up to Oskaloosa and plant the farm that's been in the family for a hundred years. Good news, Dad just told me that uh, Case which for you that don't know, even though it's a New Holland tractor, it's CNH, which is Case New Holland. They're the same thing. They'll both work on the blue or red tractors. We're gonna come out this afternoon and put a new water pump onto that planter. I so I can maybe plant corn tomorrow. Join Ben and I on our two and a half hour bump and jump down the road to Oskaloosa to plant some soybeans. And then we'll get back up here and see if we can't get any more work done today. It's gonna to be a real good thing if we can get that water pump in today. If we can get that water pump in today, I'm gonna to be one happy camper because that means that there's a chance I get the corn in before it rains.
We made it. What do you think of this, bud? We're Flatlanders today. So the case just got done crying into this here John Deere. I'm going to go throw a couple end rows in because I got about 10 acres worth of 3-2 beans on here. And I'm going to be putting a 3-4 and a 3-5 bean mainly on this farm. So we'll have 3-2s on the end rows, 3-4 and 3-5s on the main chunk. No! 11.50 and we're ready to go planting. soybeans time to fill Yep, you're busted. You're busted. I knew you could make it. You butt. Think of all the times that I had to pick him up. Yeah. Oh, everybody needs a blue healer. So right here next to us, the neighbor's got some corn up. And uh, it's actually on 20 inch rows and it's definitely got some frost damage to it. Kind of hate to see that, you know? It's like corn that's kicked off, got a good start to life, and now she's frosted. Now that we got a little back and forth action going on, you heard the zipper of that lunchbox, didn't you? A little back and forth action going on, that means it's time for lunch. Unit number seven is not playing very good. Told you. So here's the issue. We treated these soybeans yesterday. And the treater, my dad, basically winterizes in between treatments with some bio-friendly RV antifreeze and stuff like that. Well, to make sure it was working right, he turns on the pump and you know that goes through there and well the treater holds some beans at the bottom of it just naturally so those beans get soaked in the RV antifreeze and when we went to start dumping them out I could tell that they were pretty darn well plumped up full of stuff you know started to swell up those are now on my meter and they don't want to plant you gotta fix it to do that I'm gonna take my uh, two and a half here get some of the beans out of it
lid. That looks like a good lid. I can somewhat trust. Flip my latch. Disengage the box. So I can work on the meter here. Comes off with these two wing nuts. Pull it. See? Swollen, soft, swollen, soft. They pinch into the meter. So I'm just gonna take this, clean like that for a little bit. Take the box, give it a little downward action. See if I can't get some of the beans out of there. They're giving me a headache. There wasn't very much, but they made it in there. Meter back on, tilt her down, so we'll pull up the cane. There, bud. Now it'll beep at me for a hot second, I think. Just gotta fill the meter up. Hopefully, I went, like today, I hope I engaged it again. We'll find out. That'll work. Threw a chain off of one of the boxes with no tilling. You can throw trash up there. It caught one of the chains, no big deal. Put it right back on. And since I'm out here, I might as well check and see how the planter's actually planting. Three, all in there a little over an inch. I'll take it.
Sanders do all day? There's no like trees, waterways, obstacles. It's like, well, I guess that's a waterway. It's almost like comparing NASCAR to like one of those uh, Formula One cars, like Formula One tracks. Down here in Southern Iowa, or down in my county, we're Formula One farmers. We got curves, we got bends, we got hills, we got sloping terrain. Now I start to get it. Flatlanders, they're like the NASCAR. Pedal to metal, full speed for 200 miles. Ben gave me the task of picking out of my favorite comment from day 16, planting vlog. And uh, this is the video he asked you guys to name the John Deere powered Cummins, or the Cummins powered John Deere, there we go. And there's a lot of good ones in there that kind of made me chuckle, but Mark Warner, he, uh, he kind of got me with this one. He says, Johnny Cummins. For, from the lyrics in the southern song, when Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah. When Johnny comes marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. <clears throat> if I knew any more, I'd, I'd sing it for you, but I don't, so. Guess it's your lucky day. Mark Warner, thanks for the good comment. Email Ben and Molly will send you a sticker. guys get this video to 2,000 likes and you can win one of these hats 25,000 subscribers we're giving another one away at least that's what I've been told show you guys what we're no-tilling into this corn last year was really late planted like really really late planted um, it's probably some of the tallest corn I've ever seen Matt, it was ridiculously tall corn um, and there's a lot of residue here you can just see the matter residue that we're going into This is obviously pre-plant here. You can just see how it's still kind of matted to the ground and beat down by all the rain and all the winter. And then if you go to the back behind this planter where we planted it, you can just see how it's been fluffed up. It's lifted up, it's chopped up. It does a really good job of just sizing it. It almost looks as if when we're going across the ground like a wave of like corn stalks and everything is just getting flung up in the air makes it nice and life and light and fluffy you know that way maybe if some of the beans don't make it into the ground or whatever it's like it just gets mulched in it just look at that good stuff i like it I should also note that I think we're probably going on a year about, it's, at, it's over five, I want to say maybe around seven of being no-till, complete no-till, and this has gone to a corn soybean rotation. So, obviously corn, soybeans, corn, soybeans, and it hasn't been tilled. So, cool. 
which just makes us very much so the standout around here. Black dirt, black dirt, black dirt, black dirt, black dirt. Residue. Now that's no way, shape, or form a dig on like tillage by any means. Um, people in this area can go for tremendous yields. But like I, we talked about, it's a two and a half hour tractor drive down here, which if we just take a two and a half tractor hour tractor drive down here with a planter and plant it and it does a decent job planting it, we're pretty happy with that, you know? We can't necessarily really drag the vertical tillage tool down here, even though I think it would increase the yields a little bit, but probably the trade-offs, uh, I don't know. Plus, I don't like roading those big, heavy implements down the road. Um, we've had issues with that before, especially going these long distances. So, we're on the last pass here, as you can tell. There's the 78 acres. We're about to do some planter yoga and head home. So we're in a 10 acre field here that we're going to try and knock out tonight. Um, this is a little bit of custom work that I got to do. Good news bud, the regular lunch lady's back. The other one was kind of hard to look at. Thank you. Well, that's going to do it for another day down here in southern Iowa. So thanks for hanging out with us. It feels good to get that 100-year uh, farm planted there in Oskaloosa. It sounds like we can get back to planting corn uh, because the water pump on the New Holland has been replaced. So tomorrow we're going to maybe try and put the rest of the corn in the ground and maybe some more soybeans. Like I said, thanks for hanging out with us down here in southern Iowa tomorrow. Or, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and also, happy birthday, AJ. Like two, this will only take like two and a half hours to plant. 
It takes me just as long to drive down here as it does to plant this dang thing. It's hard to get 80 acres planted down in there in our hills, and now I can drive up here and still get 80 acres planted in a day. If you get back and still do something.